So, <laughs> if, you, if you want to, you can write your own uh, book, but not in front of the children. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much again for supporting it. I should say that the, uh, the huge amount of money that I've made for this book, I won't be retiring from going on the desert island with Joe Wilson. Um, I will be giving that money to the uh, charitable trust, so don't worry about that. So, my publisher's Random House wanted me to read an abridged extract from The Real Deal to give you a real taste of the candidness that is in my book. So here is an abridged extract from The Real Deal. How's that, Nigel? Is that okay? Is that happy? Any of your money's worth? <laughs> when I was three years old, everything was great. Then disaster struck. Out of, that, out of the blue, my mother called me in. I knew from the look on her face that something was badly wrong. Richard, she said, I've got something to tell you, and there's no easy way to say it. I've got to go to Africa because your father, well, he could be dying. I couldn't quite believe what I was hearing. I felt like I'd been hit with a hammer. Turn your pants on, please. <laughs> Who's that? Who's the president? Name and shame. Not only they're not, not only they're not, they're not, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've got just the time to wear them back. <laughs> I couldn't quite believe what I was hearing. I felt like I'd been hit with a hammer. Apparently, my father contracted a terrible illness through drinking contaminated water. They brought him back by air ambulance to Hamilton Hospital. He was told there was an antibiotic that might save his life, but it might leave him blind, deaf, or even paralyzed. That day, he was a several row of suit-wearing 45-year-old executive who jetted around the world. Everything was great. But he took the antibiotic, and the next morning, he woke up completely dead. It must, of course, have been a real personal ordeal for him to find himself in that condition. But what struck me most of the time, though, was that all of a sudden, all his friends either disappeared or made disparaging comments. After all they were saying, he can't hear, silly old bastard. But once again, thank you, everybody. And the story of you know, fantastic, great support. You're here to support me. I'm here to support you. And I've got a friend who's over on that. Thank you very much. <laughs>